Hey everyone, it's Lara from TooFabFromFatFitness.com and I'm here for another Way in Wednesday video on my quest to lose 30 pounds by my 30th birthday. So first of all, this week was really, really awesome. I still had my treat um, on Friday night. I had pizza. Once again, did not binge. Still another week binge free and this is officially, this is my week four weigh in. So I'm officially four weeks in to being binge free. I haven't binged in four weeks and that feels amazing. Totally amazing. I feel really good about that. Um, and anyways, so I had a cold. I still kind of do. I'm still a little stuffed up today. Um, but I've had a cold this like last week and you know, otherwise, like especially with the first few days that I had the cold, I was like feeling okay aside from like sore throat, basically, is kind of what it started out as. Um, and I did double workouts for five days straight last week, up until Saturday. From like Tuesday to Saturday, I did double workouts each day, and I was feeling really awesome, really strong, like super good. Um, and then Sunday was my scheduled rest day, so I did yoga that day. And me and a couple uh, coaches on my team decided that we were going to do the three-day Shakeology cleanse uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, just to give us that extra push for the end of this diet bet because today was the official last weigh-in for the diet bet challenge that I entered into four weeks ago. And I was okay. I was at my diet bet goal last week. So I was okay, but I was pushing for more anyways. My diet bet goal was to lose, I don't remember how much, um, but I had a goal to lose 10 pounds in those four weeks. And so that's what I was pushing for. So I still had to push for that. And so anyway, so we were like, okay, we're going to do the Shakeology cleanse. Um, the Shakeology cleanse is basically you drink three Shakeology shakes a day. You can optional add fruit or nut butters to those shakes, um, ice and water. And then you get one snack of fruit a day and you get a huge salad with a lean protein and a low fat dressing for dinner. And so it's like around a thousand calories a day. So it's like, you know, extreme calorie count cutting, but you're also getting rid of processed foods and whatever. Right. So it's, <clears throat> it's meant, it's, it's meant for what most three day cleanses are meant for. And that is just to kind of give you a push. Um, if you have something coming on where you want to lose bloat and whatever, and that was the case this week. So I was doing really good with that. Sunday was my scheduled rest day. Like I say, so I did yoga. Um, and it, it was awesome. And then Monday, Monday, Oh, Sunday night. I didn't sleep very good. Monday. I woke up feeling really bad. Like this was one of those colds where it's like, it's coming, it's coming, boom, it's there. And that was Monday for me. Like it was just like it hit and I was just like, oh my gosh, like I was not feeling good at all. So I didn't do my workout on Monday. So I basically took two rest days, Sunday, Monday. And then yesterday, and I was doing really good on my Shakeology cleanse. Like I was feeling totally satisfied. Might have been because I was sick due to lack of appetite, blah, I don't know. But totally satisfied, like no issues, no cravings, whatever. Um, and then yesterday, I went to do my workout yesterday morning, and I was so lightheaded feeling. And I was just like, it was a 60 minute workout, and I could only get 25 minutes in, and I felt like I was gonna pass out. And so I stopped, and I was just, you know, so that kind of got me down. I was like, ah, oh, I hate feeling like that. I hate feeling weak like that, and whatever. So I, you know, I went to my coaching team and I was like, oh my gosh, like this is just what happened. And they're like, eat. Like they're, they're like, you know what, probably doing a cleanse, like cutting calories like that while you're sick is probably not a good thing. And then trying to work out on top of it, I think you're probably just, that's too much, right? So I was like, yeah, okay, you guys are right. So I went and ate some eggs. So yesterday I ate normally, you know, just counted calories. I ate, you know, good foods. Um, and then last night I went to like work. So I went to log on to my computer and work and the internet was down. So I was like, okay, universe trying to just ruin my Tuesday. I'm not going to let you. So I'm going to take this as a sign that I'm supposed to try my workout again. So last night I tried my workout again. I got through it. It was totally cool. I was totally fine. This morning I woke up feeling a lot better. I'm still a little bit stuffed up, but feeling a lot better. I did my workout this morning. And holy crap, I pushed harder than ever. I did 
Okay, I have a few accomplishments from this workout today. Today's workout was power hit, which is like strength training, but it's like high intensity interval strength training. And so first of all, I upped my weight to 15 pounds in this workout. Last year, guys, when I did this program, I was doing five pounds in these workouts. So I upped my weight to 15 pounds, and I just had to basically the first kind of section of the workout you have your, your weights and you start by doing um, like deadlifts. You do a couple sets of deadlifts and it's very fast moving, right? That's why it's, you're not using too much weight. Like even like the advanced people use 20, like 10 to 20 pounds is considered advanced for this workout because it's hit training, right? So it's not like you're just sitting there doing, you know, 12 reps and, and then resting for a minute in between or anything like that. But anyways, so... So you start by doing, you do deadlifts first, and then you do uh, clean and presses, and then you do uh, more clean and press, but you, you do like, okay, so clean, you squat down, press, stand up, squat down, press, stand up, squat down, press, stand up, squat down, reset, and then you do it again. So that's one set. You do the three squat presses or whatever. That's one set. And you do that and you do it I don't even know I think we I think you do them eight times okay that's one rep is what I meant to say and then I think you do them eight I think it's eight times we do them each set and you do five sets okay so it's like a lot of squats and presses and whatever and I got through the first two sets I did all of my deadlifts with my 15s um, I did all of the clean and presses because first you do a couple rounds of just clean and press where it's just you know squat press reset you know just one in one rep or whatever um i got through those with 15s and then i got through two sets of where you're doing three as one rep um twice two sets of those and then i had to go down to 12s because i wasn't squatting as low and my form was really failing so i went to 12s and then i got through the last three sets of that so that was really awesome and then for the next part with the weight where the weights came in um, it was like squats and presses again, but you're only using one weight. I went back to 15s for that and that was fine. And then at the end of the workout, they do all these burpees and the last set of burpees, you do like 16 burpees straight burpees with jump knee tucks, right? So you down and you jump your feet back, jump up and then do two jump knee tucks. And then you go back down and do a burpee, right? So one, one rep is jump back, burpee, come back up two jump knee tucks, one rep, 16 of them. I did all 16 straight. I've never done more than 12 straight and I've never done even those 12 with every single one having the jump knee tucks in between. And I did it all 16 straight. I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I did it. I just told myself, I'm like, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. And I did it. And so I was super, super excited about it. Um, it feels so good to get stronger. It does. Like, I don't even, I don't even know what else to say about that. It just feels so, so good to get stronger. So anyways, back to my weigh-in. So this was a good week. So I weighed in this morning to get to my goal of losing 10 pounds in the last four weeks. I would have had to be 156. And it was kind of a stretch because last week I was 159.2. This morning I was 156.2. So 0.5 away from my goal. I guess I only technically lost 9.5, but whatever. I'm so excited. That's so awesome. So I lost 2.7 this week. So I'm super excited about that. Um, and yeah, so I'm like, I got to keep this train going. So I'm like four weeks in now to my mission to lose 30 by 30. So I'm like, okay, I need to reassess my goals. And this is something that you got to do. You have to reassess your goals, right? Because things change and you might not move along as fast as you thought you would and stuff like that. So I'm like, okay, there are seven weeks left until my birthday. So I could probably, realistically, I could probably lose another 15 pounds in those seven weeks. And that still is going to be a bit of a stretch because there's Christmas and New Year's in there, right? So, okay, if I lose 15 pounds in seven weeks, then that would bring me down to 141 pounds, which would be the lightest that I've ever, ever been. 
but still not at my 30 pounds loss mark. My 30 pounds loss mark is 136 pounds. So I'd be five pounds away from that. But I was kind of more counting that I want to lose the 30 pounds by my 30th birthday celebration, which is on January 24th. So I have an extra couple weeks. That's nine weeks away. So to lose 20 pounds by in, in, in nine weeks totally could be doable, right? It's still kind of a stretch, but it's, you know, not totally like unreasonable or unrealistic. So that's what my goal is right now. 15 more pounds by my birthday. 20 pounds by my birthday celebration on the 24th of January. And that's where I'm at. Like I'm, I'm feeling really good. So what I'm doing. Okay. We're going to do another diet bet. I'm going to start another diet bet starting next Wednesday. I'll post the link to that diet bet below this video. I will also create another video specifically just telling you guys about that diet bet because anybody's welcome to join. Uh, it's $10 buy in, so it's a bit cheaper than the Shanti one. And it's really motivating. Like, it's super, super motivating. The diabetes are super motivating. Um, we also will have a group on Facebook going alongside that, like we did with this last one. So it was a really good combination. It worked really, really well for a lot of us. So I'm super excited for that. Um, so, yeah, so that's what I'm doing. It's going to start next Wednesday. Um, my goal for this next week is to lose another two pounds. So I want to be 154.5 next week totally I'm gonna kill it um and yeah I think that's I think that's all I have to share with you guys right now yeah I talked a lot this is it's probably a very long video so that's that I had a really another great week four weeks into my journey and I'm still going normally I quit by week two if you guys are keeping track so yeah and I'm still super excited about it I'm still like here and I'm like going you know so Yay! Um, and that's it, I think. Yeah, that's all. All right, thank you guys for joining me. Um, and yeah, I will make another video about the diet bet specifically, so keep your eyes open for that. Or I guess if you're still here watching me with this video, you can just join with the link below. But I'm just like, I talk a lot, so probably not everybody hung around to this point to hear me talk about the diet bet. <laughs> but anyways, if you did, you rule. <laughs> awesome. Okay. I will talk to you guys later and I will see you on Friday for Fit Tip Friday.